What up my 10 viewers? What up the 10 people that watch this channel? Today, I want to talk about Da Vinci Resolve and how you can animate some simple lines using it. Da Vinci Resolve has really turned into my all-time favorite video editor. Uh, motion graphics comparable to like After Effects built in. Um, I'm an amazing color corrector. I've heard a, you know, an all right audio uh, tab. Yeah, let's uh, let's jump into this thing, huh? Um, okay, so what you want to do is download DaVinci Resolve. It's free. There's two versions. There's a free version and a, a paid version. I have the paid version. I have two copies of it, which I'm willing to give away. Um, well, we'll get to that later. Uh, anyways, yeah, go ahead and open DaVinci Resolve. Um, you'll see here. Jump into the edit tab um, after you know create your project and whatnot blah 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 um, and go ahead and drag a fusion composition onto the timeline go ahead and click that and then go down here and open the fusion tab it might look a little different for you me personally I um, kind of customize it a little bit myself just a little bit just to have like a larger view or a smaller um, you know workspace <clears throat> anyways you'll notice um, this down here these are where your nodes will be a little different from layers um, it's more from like left to right than from top to bottom so to start with your animated lines what you're gonna want to do is go ahead and click on this little background node it should pop up there and then from the end here grab this line and drag it to the end that'll be your output and then what you could also do is choose a color for the background. I'm just gonna go with pink. I don't know, maybe, let's go with this light blue. There we go. And then to start with your line, there's a little polygon node here you wanna click on. Now, if you have the background selected and you click on this node, it'll automatically connect to the background node. Let's go back. Now, let's say you have nothing selected and you click it. It'll pop up on here and you can kind of move it around or whatever. Um, and then you yourself will have to drag it onto the background node. Anyways, now you can start creating your line. Me, I'm gonna, I don't know, do that. Make a little curve. Make another curve. And then another curve. And there's the start of our line. Um, but as you can see, let's unclick it. There's nothing there, right? Go ahead and re-click under the polygon node. And on the right here, you'll see in our inspector tab, um, there's a lot of little uh, customizations we can mess with here. Um, what we should start with is the border width. Go ahead and increase that. As you can see, you can increase it, you know, extremely thick lines or, you know, super thin lines. We'll just have like a decently, you know, line like that, I guess. Um, you can invert it, which is interesting. You have different border styles. See on the ends here. Or leave it curved. You can, you know, change the position of it and whatnot. With the x-axis and y-axis, you can change the size of it. Let's see, you got the extra rotation, Y rotation, Z rotation, you know, give a little bit of like 3D depth. If you double, also if you double click on these, like let's say you, you know, you're all like messed up and you're like, oh wow, what do I do? You can go and double click on each one and it'll reset its position, which is a, I like that feature. I don't think you, you I don't think you'd have that feature in, in like, like hit film or After Effects or Premiere or anything like that. As far as I'm aware. So yeah, we got our little line here. You can even move these little lines around to like smoothen things out. So like, let's say I wanna make this a little more smooth. Whoops. Let me grab that. Let's make this more of a even circle. So like, 
You can even add extra points by just clicking anywhere on the line. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make another one and try and make this more of a swirly swirl, you know what I'm saying? Mmm. Make this a little tighter. There we go. We got a little swirly swirl line. Now, say you wanted to animate the path of this swirly swirl line. You'll see over here, back in the inspector, there's the position and length. You toy around with these. Let's drag the position all the way to the end, see? Kind of makes a little uh, animated line path there. Which is pretty dope. Let's go ahead and, yeah, let's go ahead and animate this. So what you want to do, you have, if you see down here, you'll have your little timeline, technically. Um, make sure that's all the way at the beginning of zero. And then take the length of this and drag it all the way down. And then you'll see these little dots on the right here. These are your keyframes. Go ahead and click on the keyframe after you drag this length down to zero. And then we'll uh, go on the timeline here and drag it up to... Uh, yeah, let's do 60. 60 frames. Uh, and then you'll take the length and go all the way back up. Now, if you go all the way back and hit play, you'll see here, uh, yeah, it, complete, it completes the swirly swirl animation loop, which is pretty dope. Um, another hip, helpful tip is to go down here, or up here to playback, and then timeline proxy. Um, it's probably on off, but if you want to have like a, well, like a smooth playback, you can do half, re half resolution or quarter resolution. Helps quite a bit when you're animating like a lot. But yeah, there's a, a nice little swirly swirl animation. It's super simple. Uh, you know, I don't really consider myself an expert in fusion. I dabble in with it, you know, a couple, you know, every now and then. But, you know, uh, if you do want to get a little more, like, creative with it, I would jump up here to the spline tool. And then you'll see um, this little graph pops up. Now, right now, there's nothing in it. But if you click on the polygon little length node should pop up or not node but the little uh length keyframes will pop up and kind of even this out a little bit i know very it looks all this looks very overwhelming but play with it every now and then and you know you'll start to learn um so yeah, you'll see the two keyframes down here this will be the beginning and this will be the end if you click on one of these little keyframes you can grab their little lines and you can make them uh, smooth. So like I'll go back here. Notice how like when it starts, it's very stiff. But let's go back. Let's go ahead and actually we'll start at the end one. And we'll uh, drag it out, curve the line. Now when you play it back, it goes into that smooth transition at the end. And you can do that with both ends here. Drag that down. Now it'll be like, it'll be a quick, no, it'll be slow in the beginning, fast in the middle, and then like slow in the end, you'll see. Let's go ahead and replay this. Yeah, there we are. Pretty neat, huh? Pretty neat little trick. So anyways, guys, uh, that was the little tutorial for making, you know, creating a simple animated line in DaVinci Resolve. Pretty cool. Um, I have been dabbling with the software for a little while now, and I've, you know, I feel like I'm okay making small animations here and there. Um, what I want to do is, like, create uh, animated elements that people can use for their videos. So I'll show you, like, an example here of something I want to give away to... You know the people that view this channel uh it's a little like youtube subscribe and like and bell notification icon pack um that i'll let you guys download i'll leave like the link in the description of this video below but yeah 
you know, like I said, a little subscribe button, um, a little uh, a like icon, and then like a bell notification icon. I'll like give you an example of like how you can use these. So I'm gonna play this little video for you guys. This is from my, one of my old videos, but I put I cut up the elements, um, and you can just you know place them wherever you want over whatever video. These work in any editor. As far as I'm aware, like Premiere, After Effects, HitFilm, Filmora, DaVinci, whatever you want. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you a little example here. These are little animations I made. The little like button is a little too close, so if we can, we can move that over a little bit, just like that. And yeah, uh, if I want this to place quarter animation or quarter proxy. So yeah, just a little like something I'm making and, you know, want to give out to people and, you know, hopefully one day create like a ton of animations, make some packs, sell them. Uh, you can also find me on Pond5, which is a, it's like a stock website where there's like, you can buy videos, um, animations, music, you know, just a bunch of stuff like that. Come support me on there, you know? Come check me out. Uh, there'll be more stuff every week. And uh, yeah, guys. That'll be... That's the video for today. Dylan, my number one viewer. You probably never get to this... You probably never get to the end of these videos, but... Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching Dylan. And uh... That's it. <laughs>